Hello there. I thought I'd make a video about how to get uh, legendary weapons, particularly. I do have the shields and some other stuff, but I'm going to cover the we uh, have really good information on the weapons. And let me show you what's in my inventory. All these were uh, acquired from Duras the Blade. Um, and I don't have to sit here and buy, buy a bunch of crazy stuff. I have, so far, 100% success rate um, at this point. I did have to do a lot of buying uh, to get the information I have. And the information you'll need is in the description. Um, there are four prices for one-handed weapons and four prices for two-handed weapons. And from hundreds of buys, uh, those only produce legendary uh, weapons. Um, they will not produce anything else, and no other number has produced anything other than non-legendary weapons. There's other th obviously you can get the 105 armor from this guy, the 99 uh, rings for the sets, um, like this stuff, and that stuff. You also can get the Nether Realm swords; they're real easy to spot off of him. But let me show you the. Um, I I st started the video once I saw he had one. Um, I had to run in and out several times to get to this point, but this is one here just so you can see. Mortal Edge. So you never know which one you're going to get because there's two. But um, first you'll need to be probably at the very end of New Game Plus Plus. Um, you'll need him to be displaying items of this level. Um, I believe at the end, end of New Game Plus Plus will do it. At worst, you'll have to do New Game Plus 3, but I don't think you'll have to go there. Um, as long as you're seeing these numbers um, uh, that, you, that I'll have below, you should be good. Um, the best place to do this is Minehead, because if you leave to Imperial Camp and go back to Minehead immediately, um, this is how you can refresh his inventory over and over. Um, so you can go in here and look for those prices. This is one right here. We were lucky, very lucky, because I normally do not get them back to back. I sometimes have to load it 30 times to, to, to get a new one. Um, anyway, going in and out, what I do is I just put my cursor over here and scroll across, and I'm looking for, oh, God, we were super lucky. That is insane. I swear. That is not typical. Um, you'll have to, that is not typical. You'll have to run in and out of here a lot to, uh, a lot more than that. Um, anyway, happen to get some good RNG. Um, run in and out, check his prices, and I'll just look for the, I look for 13,000 and 14,000, and once you see one, check, the, check it against the numbers that I have listed below, and pay attention if it's two-handed or one-handed because it, determines whether or not which price which of the four prices to use um didn't have one this time i will point out in the 15,000s one-handed weapons that's where you'll get the nether realm uh like the nether realm sword for instance but in, in this case that'll be a nether realm pistol i'll buy just to show you yeah. and then 16,000s is where you'll see the two-handed ones um i've never seen anything else there uh there might I don't think there's anything else there. I didn't really keep super track of those because those are pretty easy to get. The shield prices I have listed below, there's there's probably a fourth price that I don't have. And I don't have super great information. I haven't done extensive testing on the armor, on the other stuff. I've done I've bought a lot, but I didn't keep the I didn't keep track like I did on the weapons to figure this out. Um, my guess is is <clears throat> There's a formula that uh, probably takes, say, the item level, the number of sockets. The number of sockets seems to be very important to this price. Um, and then he probably picks a number, but does. Uh, God, we were lucky. Yeah. Um, he probably picks out a random number between one and four and then multiplies what I'm, I would suspect is the item sell price to a vendor. 
and he has four different multipliers and that's how he determines his prices up here so he's not actually random and he's actually predictable enough that I've got it down to four numbers and I don't see I doubt there's any other numbers that would possibly be legendaries at least at this item level at item level 105 um, <clears throat> if you want the lower level ones there's probably a way to figure that out um, I I didn't uh, I didn't try to figure that out um, um, anyway um, I think that's all the information you need so you just want to run in and out over and over keep looking at him scroll through his prices uh, if you see something that costs 13 or 14, check it against the numbers that I have. Um, I pay attention to whether or not it's one-handed or two-handed, because that determines uh, which numbers to use. And I've probably bought... I have another character full of storage that's just legendaries beyond what you see here. And... Um, I've never bought anything at those prices that isn't legendary. Um, now I might have to run in and out 30 times to get him to load sometimes, or I might get lucky. Uh, do not expect the luck that I showed in the video. Uh, that is abnormal. Um, expect to have to run in and out like this. Um, sometimes 20, maybe 30 times, sometimes. I'd say on average, about 15 times to get him to display a legendary and it's possible to get more than one legendary um, in his cell uh, his list it's uh, inventory uh, it's unusual but it happens um, I'll put the numbers that I have for the other items down there below um, those that I, again, I haven't tested those nearly enough to like I have the weapons. Um, these weapons, there's four prices. That's it for one-handed. There's four prices for the two-handed. That's it. There's probably four prices for the shield. I've only got the three though. Anyway, that's all the information you'll need. I'll uh, probably try to grind out one more in the video before I end just so you're getting a little bit better idea of how long it really takes. Um, but there's not going to be any other useful information I can think of. And this is by far the best way to get these legendaries, but if you're looking for a particular one, it will take some time. Um, let me look at my notes over here. Yeah. Um, that is not the one. <clears throat> yep. So in and out, in and out, checking prices. Trying to one cut, get the second one in here. Uh, getting another one in here at this point. Um, oh, there's one. Yep. I was, I still feel that was, that's a little quicker. I, keep saying that yeah it's gonna be in the video and you're gonna expect it to be this quick and it's gonna be a little more annoying than this expect to have to run in and out more than this to get that but you will hit one you know if you go in and out 20 30 times you will see one and if you buy it 99.99 .99, somewhere in there um, it's gonna be I feel like it's probably 100%, but, you know, it's RNG based, so I can't really say, and I haven't seen, like, the algorithm itself, so, or the formula, so. Most loads won't have one. And if you're not seeing these prices, then uh, you try a higher level, try to, you know, keep playing uh, get to new game plus plus very end of new game plus plus I think you'll see it then I don't think you'll have to go to, to the next one the guy in um, Let me show you what's it called map map whatever it's called um, he 
will sell these things and I'm betting his prices are here's this is another legendary god man we got some luck it's a little quick this is definitely quicker than normal I, I've I hit dry spells where I have to run in and out here what feels like 30 times anyway uh, check the numbers below go for it enjoy the legendaries uh, keep in mind that some legendaries are not as good they're, they're not necessarily good um, they are rare but they're not necessarily the best weapon to use um, I'm a mage I'm using two nether realm swords because they have four item sockets and that I, I care more about the sockets than I do the weapon and then uh, on this character I am using um, two of these but I don't know if it's necessarily the best way to go um, at any rate have fun with your legendaries and uh, let me know in the comments if you find the fourth shield price or any other information you want to share or heck if you run into issues I guess uh, I'm not gonna be I'm not really a youtuber so I don't care if you like subscribe downvote I don't care but uh, <laughs> uh, figured I'd share this information thanks for watching